In today's video, I'm going to be giving you one of the best defensive tutorials for defending the gun tight in Madden 23. This is kind of a year in review series that I'm doing on the channel. Just trying to take a look at some of the best cons concepts of the game this year. And this one is really good, especially for defending any kind of compression set, including gun tight. Now, this is going to be a zone based approach to defense. So what we're going to want to make sure is we're going to have deep out zone knockouts. We're going to have pick artists, stuff like that um, at the safety position at the at the basically the coverage uh, the corners and the safeties positions that are going to be in coverage we're also going to be blitzing a lot of players um, so you want to be able to have fast slot corners so that the pressure can get in it, we're in dollar if you want to get my entire dollar three two defensive ebook join the patreon ten dollars will get you access to everything over there all of my updates all of my ebooks everything for just 10 bucks we've dropped over 25 different offensive and defensive ebooks this year so if you're not a member yet you're missing out on a ton of information and ability to be able to help you get become a better player so you can sign up by clicking the link down below coaching adjustments for this defense real quick we're going to want to put our auto alignment to base align and then again you just want to have ko's everywhere that you can in the coverage positions so db fire 2 is i think the best blitz of the game i think it's the most consistent blitz in the game i think it's the most reliable blitz in the game i think it's the most adaptable defense in the game um, and that's why i think that db fire 2 is the best way to play defense now super super key when you're defending tight when you press you've got to bring these safeties down it is really helpful for defending seam streaks we're going to bring these safeties down every single time then what we're going to do is we're going to click on to these linebackers we're going to typically use the linebacker that is on the side of the running back and then we're going to do what I call a roll or what's called a roll coverage concept. We talk about this in our dollar three, two defensive ebook. Uh, but basically what you're going to do is you are going to outside third, your wide side player. You are going to cloud flat your short side player. You could also put them in an inside quarter zone um, if you wanted to do that. Uh, but I like to cloud flat generally speaking. And then you're going to, um, you're going to middle third the safety here. So what this means, if you think this through, is you're responsible for this flat, but you're also responsible for this middle of the field. But the beauty of baseline press, and because we can take advantage of the way the players back up this year, wide side thirds, they don't do too bad of a job at guarding the, the quick throws to the flat to the right. So essentially, you're gonna be lurking right here and you're gonna to wanna to shoot into this hook curl. If you see a flat, you wanna to go to it, but your first priority is to take away any kind of seam streak, anything like that over here. So this is a very popular setup this year. Now the blitz is gonna scream at them. So if they send the running back to the out, they're gonna get screamed at. I love to pass commit. And so what you're gonna see here, I'm gonna get here and then work back to the middle of the field. And as you can see, pretty decent defense, right? Because when I go to the right, most people are immediately going to not throw the running back because they're going to say he's using the running back. I've got to now progress to the left side progressions. And with the way that we can guard the sidelines really well with this covered shell, it, it really limits what they can do. Now, let's say, for example, they were doing something like this to try to give them some more time. Um, let me set up a little bit of a protection. So this will give them a little bit more time over here on the side. Because we're playing with our match coverage on, what you'll watch this vertical hook do is actually really, really critical. So you're gonna see here that this vertical hook um, is gonna basically kind of go with that deep route. So we can lurk there to there. And as you can see, we can play really, really good defense even in this kind of basic shell that we're in. So if you take a look at the replay here, you're gonna notice something really important. So right off rip, we come over into that seam area, we see drag, so we're gonna take that drag, and then about right in this area, we're gonna pass that off and we're gonna to wanna to work back over here. It's not perfect user, um, but you see the idea here, okay? Now, at this point, I want you to look at the pocket. This is also really important in Madden 23. The way defense has played this year is you wanna to try to send five, at least four every play, if not five every play. And when you send the pressure, you are trying to basically cover the, cover the field for about two to three seconds to get the stop. Your zones will never cover every single, everything every time at all, um, especially in this year's game. It's not, a, this year has not been a great year from a defensive perspective in terms of coverage, but you're using the pressure to force them to throw the ball just a second before they want to. So if you look at that corner route, if I waited, if I could wait on this corner route and I could throw that route 
let's see, just about right in here, step up, maybe throw it right in here. Then yes, I would have a window. If you look here, I would have a window to throw this over in this pocket, but it is still a bang bang play because we've got this deep half defender. Really what you wanna do is let him clear a little bit more and you wanna throw the ball over in this window. But by the time they're stepping up to throw that, you see that the pressure is, at this point, you can't really throw the ball. You can pretty much throw it to this point, but you can't really throw it past that point. And that's the benefit of roll coverage. What you'll notice also, one last quick tip about roll coverage. Let's say they tried to flood you uh, to the left side. So maybe they ran, um, you know, they do something like this. They're trying to hit their corner routes. You'll notice that this is a the best way, in my opinion, to take away uh, corner routes consistently this year because you don't need to have a cloud flat on the wide side of the field. An outside third will guard a compressed corner because the middle third is going to guard the streak to 31. And then the outside third on the wide side, he will guard this corner out. This is one of the biggest pieces, I think, to playing good defense in Madden 23. So now I don't have to utilize um, three players. I only have to utilize two players, which gives me a, a numbers advantage over here on the short side where they want to be able to flood, but there's less physical space and there's also less routes. So you're gonna see right here, this cloud flat can play a little bit better on the short side of the field, especially if we back him up. We could also put him in an outside quarter and he would play a little better. And then you are also noticing here that the vertical hook is matching because they don't have anything coming over the middle of the field for that vertical hook to play. So that is the idea of roll coverage. All we're doing is we're rolling um, the safeties from the wide side to the short side. So we're basically rolling this guy into the middle. We're rolling this guy into the back. And then we're rolling this guy over the top um, of the short side. I think this is the best way to play defense this year um, because you're also at the same simultaneously sending pressure, which makes it hard anyway. All right. So that is um, that's how, again, Madden 23 little year interview roll coverage concept. One of the best concepts for playing zone defense this year. And I think that this concept is going to be very pivotal to learn going into future Maddens. If you want to learn even more about how to play defense in Madden, join the Patreon. $10 gets you access to everything over there. We did an entire deep dive defensive ebook that taught all the ins and outs of different coverages, principles, match, man, zone, also how to adjust all of those coverages. So if you're not a member yet, $10 will get you access to everything that we have in the Patreon. You can sign up by clicking the link down in the description below.